peatlands. The largest natural terrestrial carbon store. Often regarded as wastelands, these highly undervalued habitats have been heavily exploited over the years. Saved from peat extraction in the year 2012, the little wilden moss is slowly beginning to heal from the scars of peat extraction. Sphagnum moss. This keystone species of peatlands is slowly recolonizing over the reserve. Soft and spongy, it can hold 20 times its weight in water and plays a crucial role in creation of peat bogs. Storing water, it prevents the decay of plant material, eventually forming peat over many years. With the onset of spring, this dreary landscape will soon go through a dreamy transformation, covering itself in a carpet of fluffy white heads of cotton grass. Blowing in the breeze, they breathe life into the terrain. Despite its name, cotton grass is a member of the sedge family, an emblem of boggy habitats and wide open spaces. Cotton grass is also the county flower of Manchester. Buns have been strategically created on the moss for restoring the habitat and for re-wetting the landscape, thus allowing wildlife to thrive once again on the moss. oyster catchers. Predominantly a coastal species, these waders have started breeding on the inland water bodies over the last few decades. And off she goes. It seems that this male has got quite a task in front of him. Determined to win her over, he follows. Another attempt in vain. But he is persistent, and finally, they mate. They will now go on to mate several times over the next few days before nesting and raising their young. The fields along the periphery of the reserve are also home to abundant wildlife, and, if luck favours, one might see a brown hare. Known for their long, black-tipped ears, they are occasionally seen grazing in the fields. Recognised by their black and white appearance and long, splendid crests, the northern lapwings have returned for nesting on the reserve and the farmlands. Once found commonly across Britain, their numbers have declined significantly over the last few years due to habitat loss. In the breeding season, these birds need a mosaic of habitats, and the moss serves as an ideal location. This female has recently embraced motherhood. The chicks have hatched. Covered in down, they are able to walk and feed within no time. Keen to explore the surroundings, this one has ventured into unknown territory. Reunited, for now. These chicks will soon disperse, only to return back to the moss in the near future. <laughs>